Alright, so I have had these for about two years now. The Spec D lights with the color shift halo rings. And get them to switch real quick. But yeah, so I've had them about two years now. Color shift rings and uh I had the bottom bar done up to go with the signal light, so it's been two years, it was fun, it was something new, but it's time to switch them up, so saw some different lights out there, so I'm going to give them a shot and I don't know, see how I feel about them, but time to take these out. Got the new lights. Uh, I don't know how long they've been out, but I hadn't seen anybody with them yet. Not with this this style in Paula. I think I saw like the 2000, 2005, but it's got the little zigzag DRL. And uh, it's pretty simple to do. Power and negative wire for that. And all I'm going to do is splice it in right here with the the park light so as soon as the park light come on the DRLs will come on so pretty straightforward all the bulbs are already in it so it's ready to go so once I do that just put it in the car and then see how we looking So it's time for out with the old. And then you got this seven millimeter screw right here. So get this out real quick. Alright, so we got that out and this is out. HIDs are out with it. Uh I hadn't got any HIDs or LEDs for that one yet, but I'm probably gonna go LED this time just to test it out. But we got that out. We got the DRL bar is wired in with these park lights, so that's set up and ready. All the other bulbs good to go. So let's bring this to the car. We can put it in and see what we got. So we in, and uh, you, I don't know if you can see, but fitment is a little off. And same deal here. You see, it's a little bit off on that, but not too far to where you can't, you know, get it to go right. But, you know, just something to uh, be aware of. So let me go ahead and try to tighten this down and then do this other side. Alright, so I got both in. Both of them still have the same fitment issues. Like, this piece right here doesn't really go all the way through and line up straight with the bottom piece. You can see it's kind of it's kind of to the left too much. So, this part, the top part doesn't hook, but the bottom part is latched. And same on this side, it's uh, you can see it's barely going through enough, like nowhere near enough to where this part can actually latch down onto this. But the bottom part is latched in all the way. And same back here, the not really lining up with that screw hole. But I mean, it's in there, but you know, you might, if you, if you feel a little uncomfortable about something like that, just know that that might be a part of it. But it is, in fact, in there. And turn them on real quick. So, something different.
but I'll get some more uh, pictures tomorrow in the daytime. So here you go. And the bar is pretty decent. As far as like brightness, it's uh, it, it seems to be uh, about as bright as the Spec D bars were. You know, I never had mine actually hooked up how they came, because as soon as I got them, I took them apart and they were changing the colors. But this is, I guess this is about as bright as those would have been. So I'm going to ride these around for a minute, see how I feel with them. And uh, probably going to take them apart and uh, have them change the colors next week. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm going I'm to at least ride these around and see how, make sure they're sturdy in the car with uh seeing how the screw won't fit and the the second part of the tab won't hook so i'm gonna ride around just to make sure everything is good on them as far as staying put and all of that and i guess test out the the light output really should be the same as factory this is i mean they're basically factory headlights just with a bar in there so output should be exactly the same but i'm gonna get a do a little trial run tonight gotta take a ride to louisiana so that should be long enough to get a real good test run on it and see what we're working with, but not too bad for now. So, all right, I'll see y'all in the morning. All right, what up, y'all? So. Leaving the hotel. Get y'all to look at these lights in the daytime. Let me turn them on real quick. So they still pretty bright in the daytime, so not bad. So far so good, no problems with the fitment. Well with the, the screw hole and all of that. So so far, so good. All right, what up, y'all? So, I'm just riding and thinking. Uh, I got these lights in, as you can see, and uh, I'm really liking them more than I thought I was gonna be liking them. So, I'm gonna finish up this video just so you can have like a, I guess some sort of review of actually what they look like, how they work, and all of that. But, when I get back in town, back home uh, tomorrow, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get everything took apart and I'm gonna start go ahead and putting the, uh, the color shift LEDs in them. Get all that done, probably order my LED bulbs for the headlight. So I'm gonna, cause I hadn't had LED bulbs either, so I'm gonna try them instead of the HIDs this time. So I'm gonna see how they work, but I'm, I'm actually kind of liking these a little bit more than I thought I would, like some kind of way, but I like them so far. Like they, uh, they shine real good at night, good output. Uh, the bar actually shows up pretty decent during the daytime, especially on this uh, black background on the housing. So, I'm a, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna ride them for today and tomorrow, but after that, it's, uh, it's time to bust them open and swap these LEDs out, or at least see what the LEDs look like in there, and, you know, see if I can swap them with what I got in mind. But, but yeah, so far that's going, that's going down probably, if not tomorrow, it'll be, you know, what, Sunday, so it'll be another two days or so, but, and I got a, I'm putting a switch in here somewhere, just a regular on-off switch somewhere for the actual halos, or the LED bar once I get it in there, that way I won't have to worry about, uh, like for some reason the halos last time, 
like last week they started tripping and was coming on by themselves so i'm gonna go ahead and just put a, a on off switch so i don't have to worry about them problems so that'll be hopefully in the next video so thanks for watching and uh stay tuned